barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to join the Patreon. Um, I want to talk about it's Robert Garcia's birthday today, so I want to say happy birthday to Robert Garcia. And two, immediately after the Josecito Lopez fight, I bumped into him coincidentally at the uh, at the end of the fight. It was like this foyer area where Josecito Lopez was coincidentally. And I was like, man, congratulations. Uh, again, another hell of a game plan. You fell short, obviously. The better fighter won. But uh, he says said to me, he says, are you worried? Are you worried? I said, I'm not worried. I'm concerned a little bit. And, and why I am concerned is because Robert Garcia has a knack for inspiring the hell out of his fighters, making them believe that they are greater than what they are. I've never seen Josecito Lopez withstand so much punishment and still come for you don't believe me uh, a, a, a great example of that simple but great short example was the Birdo fight he just folded in the Birdo fight you know and if and I believe with um, Keith Thurman hit him with similar shots and uh, um, he continued to fight you know he peppered him with the jab uh, I think Keith Thurman threw about threw 899 punches and landed 27% of them. So you guys do the math, 250, 60, somewhere in there. And uh, I think it's a testament to Robert Garcia. And, and you can say Earl Spence is the better fighter. Tank Davis is the better fighter. But I remember what uh, Clyde Drexler said one day. Was it Clyde Drexler? Yeah, because he was the second best two guard in the NBA. He says, I only have to be the best, I only have to be better than Michael Jordan on two nights I think it was Clyde Drexler who said that and because in the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference they only play each other twice a year they have a home and home the East Coast and the West Coast you know in the NBA and uh, that takes precedence on February 9th and March 16th Abner Mares only has to be better than Tank Davis on one night this ain't a best out of seven uh, Mikey Garcia only has to be better than Earl Spence on one night, this ain't best out of seven. And I think that um, they're gonna find a way to take something away. They found a way to take uh, the aggressiveness of uh, Keith Thurman away. They found a way to make him a, a amateur type puncher in terms of just scoring punches, you know what I mean? Scoring punches as opposed to viciously throwing that left hook and following up with a straight right hand as he typically do. Uh, Keith Thurman used the entire ring, which he's, uh, starting to do a lot more but at the end of be all I can go back and back and forth but I'm, I'm gonna just say what fights that you guys can remember obviously the two Maidana fights the the first Maidana fight deserves to be like a composite into like boxing's Hall of Fame he didn't win the fight but he won in life because he got the he got the rematch Robbie Garcia and them is probably still spending that money Robbie Garcia <laughs> Uh, those Foy checks probably paid for his, uh, his 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 team out in Riverside. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm just making a joke, but I'm just saying that to say this: the hard work that they put in for for Floyd Maidana one paid off because they got Floyd Maidana two, right? And um, people may say, "Oh, well, he had to beat Broner to get it." Yeah, he had to beat Broner to get it, but it would have been too easy for you to just show up against Floyd and get a check. You know, Maidana came there to win. And um, uh, Floyd has a, has a tendency to take your spirit. The last person, he took Canelo's spirit. He took uh, Guerrero's spirit. Um, just talking about recent fights, you know. Cotto was the last one that went in there with like, okay, I'm coming. I don't care what you bring, I'm coming. You know, and Madonna did the same damn thing. You know, so, so at the end of the day, I mean, you have nothing but to give them credit. And I, and I do this video to put everyone on high alert and do I still I'm not I'm not no fool do I believe I, am I betting on Tank Davis am I betting on Earl Spence yes I'm actually going to parlay them too because of the odds are too high you know so if if I parlay I can get a two to one I can get some two to one action you know what I mean so I'm a bet um Abner I'm, I'm a bet Tank Davis I'm gonna put them in a, in a two fight parlay and uh so I can drop the odds and make a little bit of money so but uh um that's just what I believe. But at the end of the day, I think Earl Spence. Um, I think Earl Spence wins. I, I I still think it's going to be a very vicious fight. 
I still believe that uh, Tank Davis is going to hit Abner Mares once or twice, and he's going to feel a pain that he's probably never felt before. And, and I do believe he's going to confuse Tank Davis a little bit. I don't know how long that that uh, that time span lasts. I don't know. But what I, but what will be a guarantee? Tank Davis power is going to walk into the ring. Um. Saturday night, next Saturday, as well as Robert Garcia's brain and the preparation that they did for this fight. Um, I didn't expect Josecito Lopez to go 12 rounds, and if he went 12 rounds, I expected a thorough beatdown. He got beat up a little bit, but it wasn't a beatdown, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> um, so uh, so I said all that to say, that. Like, stay, stay ready, stay prepared. Um, and um, if, if, see, because Will Smith says it all the time, and this is just the story of my life. Hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. And uh, t I, I think Ta Tank Davis is arguably the most talented fighter in boxing today. I'm not going to say, I'm going to say one of the most. I'm not going to say the most. And I think he has the... Uh, he has that magic, in my humble opinion. I believe he has that magic. He has a he has a good blend of humility, street savvy, and knockout power. You know, so uh, and Tank Davis. I mean, and Earl Spence is just like a, a marketing like like gym. Like, you know, what I mean, well spoken, calm, deliberate, knocking people out, wins, amateur pedigree, undefeated professionally, and has this aura of invincibility. You know, so. Um, um, so I believe that they have everything to be successful, but they have to turn all that talent into a skill. All right. I don't believe Earl Spence can go in. He has to go in like he's fighting Chris out the mindset of Chris Algieri. You know, uh, Tank Davis got to go in like he's fighting Fon. Is it Fonseca? No, it was the kid that not Fonseca, the kid that he, uh, Moved up from 130 to 135 to fight Lomachenko. I'm drawing the blank on his name, but uh, he has to go in wanting to win the world championship, you know. And um, if they go in with the A-level mindset and A-level preparation, they can't be beat. If they go in with the B-level anything, it's going to be very, very competitive, and it's going to be a hard and telling fight. And you give the person who's prepared the most a chance to win. And and this is a synonym for life. This ain't. I know I'm mentioning fighters names but this is just a synonym for life you know <clears throat> hard work pays off you got to turn your talent into a skill that's the separation between your 20s and your 30s everyone's talented in their 20s they can make basketballs they can run they can read they can write they can figure stuff out they have a great memory but if you don't turn that into a skill or if you don't develop a skill you know your talent will fail you one day because father time never loses and um so, um, so I said this again to say this. What's up, Kiki? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. you want your water? So I said all that to say this. Happy birthday, Robert Garcia. It ain't no pressure. I mean, it ain't no stress because they have everything to defeat these, to get these two wins convincingly. But I, I just wanted to send, I saw a picture of Tank Davis. He's worked out very, very hard, diligently for this camp. He looks like he's ripped and ready. Abner Mares will be ripped and ready. Abner Mares will be mentally world prepared. He will be spiritually attacked, uh, attached to this fight. Uh, Tank Davis, I saw Tank Davis. One fight I saw live in Vegas. He was, he was kind of an aloof. He was just going through the motions, I believe it was. But he ended up getting the win easy. But you could tell he was just cruising on cruise control. Uh, Tank Davis got to be ready. And um, I saw him post today. I saw his story. This is the day he's been waiting for his entire life. I applaud you. It's, it's your moment. You got to shine. You know what I mean? The one thing about stars is they shine forever. And people, people think like shooting stars and falling stars. No. You got to be, the star shines forever. A star never goes dim. All right, so outside the ring, you got to be a star. Inside the ring, you got to be a star. When you're with your daughter, when you're with your mother, your brother, your sister, you got to be a star. So shine, stars never go dim. 
And uh, this is his coming out party. If he wins, it's on a big stage in Los Angeles combined with the uh, Grammy weekend. There should be a handful of celebrities there. He's going to have a uh, an after party that's going to be probably one of the best parties you probably ever want to attend. You know, between him, Floyd, and the, and the Grammys, it should be electric. So, But anyways, man, I just said all that to say this. Robert Garcia will have his his fighters ripped and ready and mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared to fight. And I think and I think if they come with their A game, Earl Spence, Tank Davis, I think they do well. But if they have one hiccup, one let up, I think you make this fight really, really competitive and Earl Spence and um, Earl Spence and Tank Davis may have to go into their bag of tricks to win the fight. You know, but anyways, it's gonna be competitive. Um, it's going to competitive, relatively speaking, if they come with the A game. You know, but anyways, man, as I say, I still have Tank Davis and Earl Spence win. I'm going to parlay them two together because Earl is minus 145 and Tank, I forget what Tank is, but so I'm going to parlay those two fights and see if I can get, it's going to take me a month, 40 days to get my money because March 16th, February 9th, but it's all worth it. It's, it's a short-term investment for a long-term win. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.